I don't know what he's doing, and I don't care. Go for it. Go for broke! Woo! What you got? Ladies and gentlemen, it is an absolute disaster, but it's, uh, it is fun nonetheless. So, I'm sure we're all going to remember this. this is the first day that they are doing rotation. Uh, there's a new event that's currently popping off. The client is extremely, extremely laggy. <laughs> there's so much to do. They're trying to get a hundred dollars out of you. I was like, God damn. Oh, by the way, it, it, it actually does math out that if you wanted to get all these skins, it is actually five, 5,970 coins. And uh, yeah, so I would, I, I think it's actually, you're only saving 300 coins there. It's better off to just get the specifically ones of the one that you won't. And don't try to do that. Oh, well, maybe they'll they'll do what they do with uh, Pike and Echo, and they'll just like randomly give Kaiza animation or something like that. That's a hundo dalo, okay? Just so you guys know. So in classic tradition, what do we do here? We go through the mass deleting of all the decks that we have come uh, to create for whatever reason. Oh, but what decks are you guys excited for? I'm sucks that you know Tom Kent is uh, well ro rotation, I, and that's the thing I have to talk to you guys real quick about while I'm doing all this. Uh, do you guys are you guys gonna still want to watch Eternal content, which is technically the old format of League of, Leg uh, League of Legends of Runeterra is the Eternal. Everything is legal. Uh, a lot of people are going to definitely make rotation content to see if you know to kind of see if that's the way to go. But do you guys plan on still watching internal content or do you guys only want to see rotation content? I think rotation content is going to be popular for a while. Uh, but, well, I guess we'll play it by ear. Uh, I'm just also just letting you guys know I'll be playing it by ear, seeing what people are most excited for. Boom! And people wonder, one thing that I will say, like, this is what kind of makes this game so great, is that the more you do play it, you can just acquire everything free to play. I haven't spent money on anything outside of cosmetics in this game for a long, long time. It's actually the same thing in uh, regular League of Legends. Like, you could just keep playing it. I, I, I'll even be more honest that I really don't play the game unless I'm recording. <laughs> it's very rare that I actually play, like, on my, my own time. I really don't do that. That I'm still able to get every single card, everything that pops up. There's so much essence and things that you get on a regular basis, even as a person that has everything maxed out. So, like, it's it's really beneficial to, if you guys are curious, if you're new to the channel, first of all, like, comment, subscribe. And this is what it looks like when you play a game and it actually has a system that allows you to play every single expansion and things if you just keep playing everything. And yes, I know I'm only on two, but there's really not that many cards, so we will get through it, I promise. And that is it. Ladies, gents, we uh, got all of the new cards. They are here. And now I'm going to input a deck that I think is going to be amazing from Mastering Runtara. There it is, Coin Stances. This is the deck that I want to start off this lovely expansion with right off the gate. Oh, I gotta do all my, my boards and emotes and stuff like that. No one cares. All right, uh, <laughs> so one of the things that I liked about Jack and his, some of his package was this, uh, there it is, the prize fight card. Prize fight is allies and an enemy strike each other. They can't die pretty much from the strike. So it's basically a free strike. It is a one cost fast speed spell and it just does so much wonders. More specifically, I left, I love it for actually like Udir because he's one of the characters that get a benefit off of strike. And if we were to just go off of just multitude of cards and why I think that this is going to be going uh, is, and you can also mainly rain deck prize strike as well. Uh, I, I can't wait to test out a lot. I'm testing out a lot of cards here and there's going to be a lot of testing on testing on testing. Uh, but just to, just so we can just get an idea and a glimpse of why, come on, you can do it. 
see, I don't know, Etern uh, let me go Eternal so I could actually see all the cards that have like some type of strike ability. You have Achan, that's pretty good with it. You have uh, da -da 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 -da. Caitlyn, that's pretty good. And I'm just trying to look for cards. Ooh, uh, Draven. Uh, yes, I know he's rotated, but you guys know what I'm saying. Uh, also, characters like LeBlanc and Master Yi benefit greatly from it as well because they're allowed to strike. They can possibly level up. They can get free strikes off. And with Quick Attack on top of that, it really allows you to kind of abuse that, right? Because you could be looking, they might be trying to trade with you. You can actually, let's say, look, using LeBlanc as an example, you price fight, do five damage to that damn thing. And a lot of times with Quick Attack, we'll probably finish it off. So it's really, really good. Um, Gnar, pretty good, uh, pretty good strike target. Echo, boom. Uh, Gwen is another really good one, right? Because of the fact that she can attack, get the hollow buff, and then prize fight and really trade into something or allow something else to trade really good. And I can, the list goes on and on and on. Rumble is a really good target for it as well. I'm just looking. Ooh, Shyvana. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Garen! Oh my lord. Is Garen still... Is he not in, um... I guess you want to check, actually. Is, is Garen still legal? He is. Wow. So I've actually been thinking uh, other reasons. That, that's actually a really good one. Because um, you could do that. You could attack with him regularly, then prize strike after the resolution of a, a combat or something like that. He can't die from that strike. And then, boom, you have a level Garen. Uh, Kane is actually pretty good with that, too. Uh, more, yeah, because uh, he gets the two strikes. He survives one, and he gets instantly recalled after that strike. Uh, so that's really, really good. Uh, Udyr we already talked about. Same thing with Aatrox, actually, because when he strikes, uh, he heals the Nexus. So that's pretty good. So, and that's just the champions. God, if I went into the thing. I actually think Jarvan uh, would uh, level up, too, when he's attacking and you do that stuff. So it looks like Demacia might have a really good home with that uh with, with that card but that's like i said that's just me looking at just basic generic stuff but the card is amazing so we're definitely looking to do a lot of twerkage with uh the stances and uh with regeneration it'll allow us to kind of be beat out the the silliness of the meta that is brash it'll also allow us to trade it to any aggro fights that are happening uh laying around and things of that nature so without further ado let's get into our first couple of games and see what we can stir up hope you guys enjoyed Again, like how most Kokaro subscribe. That's not English, but let's get into it. Wow, you can't queue up at all. <laughs> uh, this is weird. No matter what queue I go into, it's all disabled. Everything's disabled. Oh boy. It's happening. I got in. I can play. And shout outs to the people. I'm watching like Snooey on the side. I'm watching other people on the side and it looks like they're having a terrible time. <laughs> it's like they're trying their best to get in, which is crazy about this is that obviously I probably don't have like the super time to edit in wins and losses. Um, so it's going to be super interesting. Are right, we going flash bomb? Okay. I'm like, yo, it, where's the voice line? That was it. <laughs> so flash bomb deck with some Swain bringing the pain. Is that what we're doing here today? Uh, don't really have much here. I can troll gifts into troll gifts. You gotta be, I feel like you kind of have to block that because of I could be triggering a bunch of plunders. Not by a long shot. Not by a long shot. Um, we're really far away from anything. I probably should have looked at my mulligan, potentially. Okay, we got barnacles in the building. Stealth. One step ahead. Oh, that's unfair. Alright, you do that. That should be good enough for us. I could also use the inner beast here so that it would have been a nice mana positive thing, but I don't really need to do it. Gather, spirits, gather. The spirits are gathering. Whatever he does that we could easily uh, prize fight to at least get some value out of it, which is kind of nuts. Um, I'm curious of what he's going to try to do here. Is this Caitlyn's spell? No. So immediately he's going for 
that and unfortunately disintegrate is a really good card so at the same time we get to clear out his caitlin <laughs> With the ram stance. And you can't block even if you wanted to. And we get our free little coin. And we have another Udir in hand, so he had to use a couple cards. We basically used one, because the stance was created by Udir to begin with. So now we, we stack. Flash Bomb Peddler. The only issue with, I think, Flash Bombs at the moment is 120,000% being like that they're it's really slow. Unless he's going to do... Okay. Uh, this is going to be really good. Fight or die. I don't need to play Udyr immediately. I could still do double troll gifts here if I need to. Three damage and one to all. Feel like it'd just be better to save you. Technically, oh, I could have saved both, actually. Theoretically, I could have saved both. I could have just put uh, that, both of that on him and then this on, on this guy, he would have survived, right? Hindsight being 20th of 20s. All right, so you do that. He can't attack with that. There are 12 flash bombs, but we went all the way back to full skis. We get hit with get hit with the triple. That's fine. Spirits of the land, hear my call. He can't block the brash. He can just try to take it out. Okay. Assuming he's setting up for something. Scorch Earth? Not on this, though. Unfortunately, I do not have healing, so... It is what it is. I do like the way he's playing the deck, though. We get another coin. Don't know if the coin thing is fixed, either, to be completely honest. Uh, so... To be mana positive, I guess. We'll drop this. Now, what's cool is that we could uh, give this Overwhelm. When we play the coin, they will get a little bit buff. He's going to be forced to do There we go. Stop hitting that one. Victory awaits. Alright. Obviously, that's a little spooby. Um, let's see, we can give it plus two plus two. So it doesn't die to this, so I'm, I'm trying to discourage him from attacking. Okay, he had another Scorch Earth. Okay. He's down to cards. He's going to attack with this, assuming that, well, even if I do double on this, it's not going to protect it. Um, I think we just use one. So it doesn't die to the AoE. Do that. Give him with the heal skis. And unfortunately, Swainy Poo, you're gonna have to block. Though we do have a lot of flash bombs in our deck. It is slowing down a little bit. He only has two cards left in his in his uh, deck. So... Ow. Oh, now we would die to that, which kind of sucks, but... Obviously, we have some type of answer. Does he have another insta-kill? Yeah, I about to say, you shouldn't automatically use yours. Now do you want to use it? Get another coin stack here. Drops a Leviathan. Now he has the flock, and there's not much I could do to the flock. So we will just play this. 
One at a time kind of is a, maybe a little too slow, in my opinion. What? <laughs> oh, it doesn't matter because they're going to get stunned. And Omi does too as well. I completely forgot about that. I'm like, bro, what are you doing? I didn't have another unit to begin with, so it doesn't matter. Damn. That might be a deck. Write that down. Okay, write that down. That might be something. We got darkness in the building, which is kind of spoopy. Uh, actually, not that bad, though, when you think about it, because of the whole aspect of a lot of people have, like, these small units plus a bunch of prize fighting going on. A lot of units with low HP can just kind of swoop up and get the work done. I am curious if he's running the uh, Vault of Helia. I actually do think that that deck is pretty good. Really, really think that that deck is actually pretty good. We get the Barnacles as well. Thinking I'll learn soon. So he's looking to... I like to see this card. That means that I feel like I am a little bit less concerned of what's going on. It's crazy that we could turn to, like, in Fish Fight. Fish Fight. Prize Fight. All these fights going on. Nora's in the building. And a cat in the lap. I highly doubt he blocks here. Which makes me think he might have some ping in the hand. Which is fine. He's probably going to open attack here. I can't block it. Double Udyr is good to see. Well, I did say I wanted to see the world. Uh, we'll play this. Now our strikes will be giving us some coinage. Next turn we drop down Jack. Probably only going to attack with that. Attacking with these two. Even even within a trade is kind of weird to do. If I'm being honest. <laughs> Okay. I'll take it. Are you just pushing damage here? What two cost card do you got? Um, that trades. Because he kills something with a spell. Wasn't thinking about that at all. So... I still think I come out ahead. I mean, no, he gets the draw, though. He does get the draw there. That actually is decent, right? So we're going to drop down Jack. Doesn't have any real... Uh... Doesn't really have any, like, counters that I could possibly think of uh, to stop this. Vigar. So we get some damage out here. The, the duo is here. Boom. Boom. We have stance. <laughs> uh, we have stance. Uh, what did he get? Dawn speakers for free. That's kind of nuts. Okay. I don't think it's necessarily good to... Uh, threaten his Nora. We have Price White into the stance to do an AoE clear. I, I I'll definitely take that. Our allies did not fall in you get to drop Udyr here. Of the land, hear my call. Unless he has like uh, like Mini Morph. I'm, I, don't, I actually don't even know if Mini Morph is uh, did they even keep it? I <laughs> don't know. Um... This should be a pretty interesting turn, actually. How much we got three uh, coin stacks at the moment? The darkness is doing four. Okay. Gotta apply some pressure here. What's cool is that even if he mini morphs this, it still has the barnacle on it, so I could still get coins from it. Three. If I were to pop this, I could use shaman's call. Besides the darkness, that. We 
we have another Udyr, so that threatens him. To get he actually can block it too. No, no. Smarter to do it this way first. He wants to block it, he can. Vengeance. He had a mana for all of that? Damn. It is what it is. Not much I can do about that. We don't risk taking too much damage next turn. He still needs to develop. Uh, I think we're fine here. Right? Or you can get that. Oh, four damage. Come on, dude. And that. Okay. Minor setbacks. Okay. Hopefully it's safe to go outside. Well, we'll try this one more time. <laughs> yeah, it's kill a with three or less health. I could technically save that as well, but... I don't see the purpose of saving this at the moment. He gets Brash. Kill out Vigar. Does damage to these two, but they won't be able to block Udyr next turn. Then we kind of slow play it a little bit. Be strong. These he has big attack, but he needs he needs the other stuff too. Um, you can do this. There's 11 mana up, so okay. That was not what I assumed you would do. Alright. Big Mon. Big Mon. AoE 5. Oh, or I still die, so I have to go uh, this one. He has to block with this. No, it's already used its effectiveness already. It's already did it. There's no... I uh, hope there's no other card. Hope there's nothing else that I'm missing here. Can't block with the other ones. He has to block with the 7-6. We'll heal ourselves back. What? You crazy as hell, dude. Luckily, I actually have a response. Give myself some mana back. So I can give myself even more. Jesus, that was close. <laughs> that was so close. Woo! And they're going to get boosted. Uh, can't really do anything else with that. And he gets the thing from the Dawn Speakers. Scary stuff, and again, we, uh, there's a Vengeance he can rip, there is a Mini Morph if it's available. I know Vengeance, he might just go with that. That means he doesn't have much, which is relieving at the least. Two portals in there, we can go with the Pocket Picker here. I'm assuming he's gonna just drop something crazy, Vigar in the building. I think it's at five, right? Yeah, that's kind of scary. Bygar also, uh, if he doesn't have any more for Vengeance, we win. So it just depends on what he has in his hand. He could try to use Vigar to uh, block, but he'll. I think I would still win in that exchange. So it just depends on what he has. That's all it is. Uh, we'll have uh, Entomb to uh, do any fun stuff. There's also an argument to... 
entomb him now, actually. Actually, I should. And the reason why I should is purely on the fact is that if he has Vigar, another Vigar in hand, then he actually has the ability to use the event horizon, right? And I don't want him to do that. We're gonna go with this. It's the most logical play I could think of. Also it prevents him from getting a, a darkness next turn and all the other stuff and he won't be able to target the Nexus. But I, I'm just going for lethal here. I don't want him to event horizon me. That's a targeted stun that I, I can't do shit about. What? Okay. It's too late! Oh, well, uh, no, I don't have Brash. Okay, that's irrelevant. He needs something. Two cards going into three. What do you have? We have... I, I feel like that card was never in the pool. Boom! What did you draw, sir? Did you draw that out? No, he did not! Let's go! Woo! The gods have spoken. Facts. All right, so what are we fighting now? Shurima. We have Akshan Jack in the building. We have a really good hand. Definitely keeping that. Definitely keeping that. Coin. Beautiful sounds. When I look at this art, I wonder if he like killed somebody. Like, like is that a hat? Or his hair, like what happened? It looked like he jacked something from this person in the back, but good people don't look the other way. You don't know good people, bro. We'll play this. That should deter. That should deter a little. Unless he doesn't care. Could have shape psych, he doesn't have shape stone because it got rotated out. So no real options. Okay, I'm about it. Is there a buff that I don't know that exists right now? Prize fighting. And that's what I was saying, right? That's how strong that card is. They're gonna have to probably increase that card just just a little bit. That's that's very strong. And it's very weird to have that in um what's it called as well. Very awkward kind of card. And there it is. Heavy metal. I think and this honestly why I think Bilgewater is going to be the uh, the best because of that card. That card, Heavy Metal, is too strong because everyone's running Barnacle, and if you're even running anything else besides that, you're, it, it's just so strong of a card. If it's made of sand, I can it. Uh, that's annoying. <laughs> we'll bait the uh, the attack here, and he has it as well. So we, uh, unless he has another one, you know, where we're, this is justice. so he doesn't even go for it, which is cool. This would be a good winter. Similar deck, I do think it's just like with Akshan instead. Seeing if we can go for the trade here, does not have it, or he just doesn't feel like protecting that unit, which is fine. He keeps his barnacle, hopefully we draw into our heavy metal. Uh, we have to use, I'm going to summon our jack. Hopefully we get what's Jack's champion spell? Oh, we get Jack with the boost. Oh, uh, risky venture. I didn't actually put this in the deck. I don't think. If it kills the unit, it uh, does some lovely things. We're just gonna open attack here. I've come a long way for a fight. Don't let me down. So you'd have to block with Jack. If he feels like I, I wouldn't do it. All right. <laughs> More coinage. So did they fix it? There was an issue before, so no, it looks like it, he didn't get it. So that's good to see. Akshan's leveled. We are what we do. All right, we got Brash, Brash the movie. Okay. He's gonna pop that relic of power. Grant allies. Really? Um, I guess let's dance with the devil, bro. Let's dance with the devil. I don't see why not, actually. Um, I'm kind of, I'm just kind of curious what he's gonna do. Nothing. Am I, am I missing something here? He should be at. Oh no, he got two. Wait, no, that's actually correct. 
All right, so. I'm gonna try to bait him with this first. All right, we're out of a lot of pink stuff. Desert's right, we both strike each other. I lose two and we strike each other. Right? Yeah, so he his thing dies. I we both uh Okay. I play this jack. It's not a blast board without Now he can have that other card to, to revive, right? Okay, he does not. Four to his four. Okay. We need five more mana. I think I actually technically could have leveled him up there if I wanted to. I think we just... Uh, there's no other thing outside of him just getting... Yeah. At six. He already gets... Uh, He already gets uh, uh, overwhelmed in his other state, so. Looks like it had something on it. So we give him that, give him the plus two plus two. He could have quicksand. I actually don't know if quicksand rotated out or not. Um, we need to spend six more mana. I don't know what he's doing, and I don't care. Go for it. Go for broke! Woo! What you got? Something. You gotta have something. We get two coins back from that. Uh, I could say, oh! <laughs> we get two back. His thing is still at four. Okay, there was just, that was just a major issue before. So he has nothing. Well, either that he just he has his own little combo play that he's sticking on. We draw a prize fight, which is fantastic. Um, this is two damage. I'm one off lethal right now. Tell him. Yeah. Favorited. <laughs> so yeah, I definitely like this deck. I think you could definitely do without like the Starlet Seer, but you do spend a lot of spell. I think Mad Old Babs is is booty cakes. I do think that in this deck you can give her overwhelm, which is nice. But she only does work once you start actually playing the coins, and I feel like it's kind of eh. But I do like that you can give her overwhelm relatively reliably in this deck. Um, I do see that. I think I saw people playing this deck kind of like with Fizz. Well, Fizz is already in Bilgewater, right? But I do feel like Bilgewater stepped up uh, in its rankings a lot because of all the stuff, because of Heavy Metal, because of, you know, obviously the Jack Patches, the coins and stuff like that. It's going to be really interesting. Let me know what you guys think about this deck. What would you put into it, take out of it, all that good stuff. I know Nami uh, also. I definitely want to see Nami. Nami and Nami, I just called her two different things. Uh, because all that refilling of uh, spell mana that you can, you can technically do is actually really good and allows you to do some pretty crazy stuff too uh, while boosting up the board. So curious how that's gonna work too. Anywho, that's gonna be it for me and I, I got more to do more. I got so much to show you guys, especially since not many of us can actually play the game right now. So let me bless you guys with something. Peace.